Hey folks, Ike and Chris from Big Tech's Ordnance, and today we're taking a look at two new optics from Trijicon. We have the RCR and the RMR HD. So just jumping right into it, the RMR HD is kind of a marriage, I guess you could call it, of the SRO and the RMR. So it's got the top loading battery, similar to the SRO and some of the other optics from other manufacturers that are on the market. A really big update, I guess, to this is when you have it on auto adjust for the lighting conditions, they have a new sensor out here on the front because one of the big complaints that we had heard in the past was how sometimes it's not as adaptive to the actual lighting conditions but now you have the one in the rear but you also have this new one in the front that will basically adjust to whatever lighting conditions that you're in at the target so when one thing is like when you turn on a weapon mounted light sometimes the rear sensor won't really pick that up but now with the target facing one that should kind of solve that issue a little bit one thing too is they have like a molded kind of an, not really an iron sight, but like a witness mark or a, um, a reference point. If you're familiar with Modern Samurai Project, he'll put a, a line right there on his RMRs, but this is actually molded in there. So if you take a paint pen to that, that I, I can see that being a pretty cool um, feature as well. So one of the things I'm initially excited about here is the fact that the two models of the RMR HD that we have, the RMR one will come with the option of having either a one MOA center dot or a one MOA center dot with a 55 MOA reticle around it or circle around it. And the RMR HD2 will have the 3.25 MOA dot in the center or the option of having a 55 MOA circle reticle around it with the 3.25 MOA dot in the center. Another cool feature is that you can dim those and brighten those independently if you were wanting to say more of a brighter circle around the outside and a dimmer dot or vice versa for whatever reason. So there's a lot of options that you can get out of this one or these two different models of RMR HD. So this thing's got 11 brightness settings to include three night vision settings on the RMR HD family of optics from Trujillo. Nice. Pretty cool. We're going to go take it to the range, see how we actually like it, and uh, we will be begging Trigicon for an actual sample that we can get here. I actually have high hopes for this. I kind of like the SRO, you know, the bigger window, and the top load battery feature. That's the big thing for me, um, not having to take off my optic and then re-zero afterwards, which I've been using RMRs for years, but I like the shape of the RMR and everything about it, so having this um, this is going to be pretty big for me, so I'm excited to actually get some some shooting time behind it and yeah. take a look. But initial impressions are pretty favorable, um, and we'll see how it stacks yeah. up. I'm, I'm excited about the battery and the multiple reticles. The multiple reticles is going to be cool yeah. too. Yeah, and it's a bigger window. It, they, they've they've done a good job. Moving on, the RCR from Trijicon. So this is basically their response to the recent uptick in demand for you know, closed emitters. So it's similar to a bunch of the other closed emitter optics out there. It's got a top loading battery as opposed to being on the side that we've seen some from other places. And this one here actually still uses the RMR footprint. So with this enclosed emitter design that Trishicon has came out with, we're going to get, they say we're going to get six years of battery life. So it uses the CR2032 battery top load configuration you get one reticle choice on this. You get a 3.25 MOA dot with manual brightness adjustments only, which is cool. I mean, like I typically don't use the auto brightness on my I'm not a big fan of auto adjust. No, I like to manually either. set it and leave it. Um, yeah. I, I find the good, usually like on the RMR, I think two down from max is kind of where I leave it. And I've found that works in most conditions. And what I think battery life is what six years on this six years and three years at, on the at brightness place. setting five which right. I assume is it's dead set in the middle I think yeah I think there's 10 brightness settings on this so five would be half uh, that's math <laughs> the the RMR foot them utilizing the RMR footprint is very very smart engineering on this yeah because I think the RMR footprint is probably the most ubiquitous out there like it's it's been around the longest, or not necessarily the longest, but it's the most widely adopted, I guess I should yeah. say. So I think that's that's a pretty big clutch move from them as opposed to some of the other ones out there that use a proprietary footprint. But overall, um, I'm re really excited about the RMR HD. I wanna see how that shakes up. And the closed emitter, 
starting to mess with those a lot more. So yeah. we'll see how that stacks up too. That I'm just look just looking at it and knowing the functions of this. This is going to be an outstanding offset or piggyback optic for. I think that's, and that's that's where I think a lot of the, the closed emitter optics shine not necessarily on a handgun, but like you know, like you said, offset on an LPVO or or a magnified optic of some sort. So or duty optic where it's actually exposed most of the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you all for checking it out. Hopefully we answered some of the questions you might have. If you have anything that we didn't cover, drop a comment below and we will do our best to answer that. But you can expect more videos on these here in the probably near future. We're gonna be playing around with them quite a bit and hopefully getting some good info out there for you. But we really appreciate you watching and we will see you next time. Make sure you like and subscribe. Chop that bell so you get a notification when we post. Thank you. Sweet. Sweet. I think that was pretty good. High five? Yeah, high five. That's gonna make the blooper real. Yeah.